So guys, we're just finishing up testing now for the day and I've got a club out for Mark to try just before we finished. And um, this is the club here. He's only gone and hit it ridiculously well. That's like some of his drives has been hitting today. So he's raced down to the car to get his club to compare it. So he's gonna come back in any second. Let's do it and let's do it now. Mark, I've already started the video. Have you? <laughs> did you ever thought I might do that? Yes. Did. did you? Did you really? Yes, definitely. I've just been showing them this. I can't show them all of them because we've not got it set up on data save mode, but um, how good is that? Yeah, that's good. Are you excited by this? I'm very excited. I've just met one of a couple of guys out in the car park there and saying my four iron's really going to struggle against this. I think it might do. This could end up in the bag potentially. So Mark, um, we've not really done a full introduction. So, hello everyone. I hope you're all safe. Hope you're all well. Bit of a jig around for this, um, yeah. this video, to be fair. Totally different than what we'd normally do. We are testing. I haven't told them what we've been testing yet. I might not even put it in the title. Mm. Because this is a club which is targeted at mid-handicap golfers, but then not in a way that you might potentially... You wouldn't think about it as such, would you? No, I probably wouldn't. Should we tell them what it is? Just sure. show them what it is. Well, I think everybody will not notice when, as soon as you show them. I might have sure. glanced down it earlier, but basically it is the Callaway Big Bertha B21 Hybrid. And, I mean, we weren't... I'm not going to lie, Matt, we weren't overly excited about testing this because we've had a long day testing, we've done well, we've, we've had fun, yeah. um, and this is kind of the last one of the day, isn't it? And we thought, shall we, shan't we? Yeah. Clipped a few, and good lord. Yeah, and, um, yeah wow. That's not even the best one you've hit, so I'm glad you, you left it on that one, but um, <laughs> it is the four iron replacement. What loft is it? It's 21 degrees. 21 degrees, so we're going to stay exactly the same as your four iron, so we're going to test them like for like. What are they like shaft length wise? It's a little bit longer, isn't it? The yeah, that's already a long, a long iron, a long shaft. Yeah, it's, it's fitted for you, isn't it? Um, so yeah. Interestingly, is the four iron a club that you struggle with, or no? No. So really, all all you're looking for is maybe just more, a little bit more out of it. Yeah, if I was going to, if I was going to change my four iron, then yes, definitely. Yeah. So what we'll do, Mark, rather than taking loads and then looking at differences and checking it, them all out on there. We're going to go a little bit differently and we're just going to assess each shot okay. differently, you know, so you can slide in from yeah. one to the other. Okay. Um, so that first shot, it's not a fluke because you've hit quite a few with it. Yeah. Pretty perfect really for what you would want. Do you want to now go again with the hybrid or with your four iron? No, I'll, I'll, I'll give the four iron a go. Yeah. Um, it's going to struggle, I think. Potentially, yeah, so potentially. Um, but yeah, that was, that was quite nice. So I can't believe how, how well that initial portion went so ping i210 4 iron yeah let's see how this can go this could be the premise of the whole video because i don't think you're getting one better than that that's pretty good isn't it yeah not just distance but that dispersion little high cut yeah. into a par three or a long par four for from mid handicap golfer, we should say for people who've not met you before. First of all, where have you been? But also, thirteen handicap. <laughs> 12 handicap. Sorry, twelve. 12, 12, handicap. twelve. It was thirteen at some point. That's why I was in my head. Do you go four iron again? Uh, yeah, okay, because uh, I've only hit one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exactly the same. Those balls would be touching. Okay. They? They're quite pleasing shots. Yeah. <laughs> and for people who are saying, Mark's not a 12 handicap, it's all a massive, he's a, what do you call it when someone's in the audience and the a stooge? A stooge? Is that right, a stooge? Oh, I can be a stooge, yeah. But that's right, isn't it? If, if I was to play someone in, yeah. which we've not done, people say, oh, Mark's a pro and James has got him in, so he hits. Nonsense. No. Nonsense. We did a video the other day um, explaining why your handicap is your handicap, explaining that Mark yeah. plays 50 tournaments a year pretty much, and it's, it's pretty much as fair as fair can be, and that's shown in light of the new handicap system coming in, it's staying the same. So, um, yeah, there's no uh, jiggery pokery going on with Mark's handicap. It is as fair as it comes. 
but those for four irons are quite remarkable. Yes, no, I like that. Those, those are good. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't expect to hit that any further than that. That's that's the maximum. No, and you did initially. Like the, the longest one was two fourteen, was it? With with this. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I thought you were pointing the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah so like kind of two o three is looking like your limit with the four iron, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't sound your best strike, but looking at that for a number, if this ever focuses, 208, very similar flight to your four iron, maybe just a little bit less effort. Um, it was a bit of a messy shot though, I have to say, that, that swing just doesn't... Oh yeah, Mark, it, Mark, that was such a messy shot. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where potentially you could find a club like this going in the bag. Like if we turn this now into a club review, how do you feel like it looks? How do you feel like it feels? Could you see yourself using it? Is it a little bit ugly, a little bit clumbersome? Um, because looking at it, Mark, there's loads of offset on there, and this is kind of what Callaway have gone down the route of for the Big Bertha B21 range, forgiving, anti-slice, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. You don't generally suffer with a slice, do you? But it, this seems to be suiting you quite a lot. How do you say it looks? It looks, it looks actually much nicer than I was expecting it to look. Yeah. Um, the initial reaction was, it's a big head, yeah. So it's probably not what I would go for. Um, but but to be fair, on Callaway and the Big Bertha brand, um, that sort of blue that they've got on the top there does look the beautiful. Looks, it matches the red wonderfully as well. It's almost like a carbon-looking effect. Yeah. Um, so you know that's something really nice to look down on. It makes the head look big. Um, it's just when I start kissing it, I'm thinking. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, jam packed with technology as well. We have jailbreak. We have flash face SS21. All sorts of technology in there to help you maintain ball speed and hit better shots. Not something you would have seen in Big Bertha clubs of old. They might have been like a second rate line, yeah. uh, but we don't see that anymore. So obviously, you get the fantastic looking head covers as well, which look uh... <laughs> not for you. Even even at the fairway with that. Not a fan of the head cover, Mark. No. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I suppose. It's no camel, is it? But no, no, it's not camel. It's not a camel. Now, those of you that are watching that that swing, yeah, that's extremely armsy. Yeah, rubbish. <laughs> in in other terminology for you, but again, look at it. And for me, you have to absolutely crunch your four iron to match those numbers. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Whereas this just makes it a little bit easier. The one thing that would worry me is when you do nail it and it goes like 220, are you playing for that distance or not? Yeah, exactly. So it might be all right having that in the bag and it might be a really good club to impress your mates with on a launch monitor at the driving range. But the, the kind of big thing is, can you game it to a distance? Can you get that distance with it, yeah. So back with the old four iron. No, oh, it's just carbon copies, Mark. I've said this in, in reviews that we've filmed today. I'm glad, glad I'm not paying you for money today. Right. Been working hard on the swing and it's paying off, Mark, isn't it? It's starting to pay off, yes, yeah. I think we can safely say that the 4 iron is a 203 to 205 club, spinning at around 4.5. Yeah, and, and it's within within 12 inches either side yeah. of where I'm aiming at it. <laughs> if only that was the case all the time. Right. So you've not hit, I'm not gonna, this sounds off, but you've not hit this well in the last three or four shots. So let's see if we can get a real good one out there and see what it does when you really strike it. Still gone 200 and you fatted that, you duffed it almost. Yeah. <laughs> Are you quite pleasantly surprised with this? I am. I just stick it down to the ball mark. Let me just show people just how, like for me, it's a little bit ugly. And I said this about the driver in the three wood as well. It's like such a big head and a big clumbersome head. Yeah, it's got the face of an iron and the back of a hybrid. So it's yeah. almost the yeah. best of, of both worlds. I have to say though, for me, the ugliness is only because of the sort of you looking at to a level if you like yeah 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 professional level club. yeah if you were to take but that down to your mates high handicap person that's a really confident looking head it's, it's nice it's, it's there it's big you can mm -hmm. see it 
If you were to take that down to your mates on a Saturday morning, they're more likely to say that looks nice than maybe a crossover or a driving iron. Yeah, because it's just more inviting. Tired one. Last video of the day. Long day as well. That's just terrible. Sorry, Dave Murphy. To start with. I'll throw the initial numbers on screen so they can see now, Mark, just to make them remember. So there's a par three at 210. So I'm going to say 210, you're not getting there with the four iron. A good swing gets you there with that. All the money in the world on the line. Not that there's much money left in the world at the minute, but... Interesting. All right. Mulligan. <laughs> One more. No, I'm just not connecting with the ball. No. Must have been a honeymoon period, Mark. <laughs> just not connecting with it. I think these are tired ones now, to be fair, you know, with it being a... Yeah. Let's have one good one to finish, Jan. I mean, in fairness, with them being tired swings, they're still... be interesting if we get you to finish on a four iron and see what... Yeah. What the bad one is with that, because I think four iron dips to about 170, 180 with a, that kind of strike. Yes, it would. It would. There we go. There we go. That's front bunker. <laughs> Mark, let's finish on a four iron. I know you yeah, okay. tire in a little bit, but. And see just exactly how good the difference is. Here you go. Real interesting looking club. That's a heavy one. <laughs> Dipping again. It's heavy but straight. Well, Mark, I think we've proved there uh, that it's pretty much doing like you said, as what it says on the tin, isn't it? Yeah. It's a 21 yeah. degree four iron replacement, and I can't, I mean, I, I couldn't look in it, I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to use it. But for someone who really, you know what, no, I take that back because you don't struggle with a four iron. No, 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 but you no. have found, let me just, out of interest. Oh. My four iron would be around kind of 210 usually. So if I get this, I mean to me it looks like it's just going to go left with the amount of offset on it, but. Yeah. Called it pretty much. That's without a warm up and it's on the number. So I would expect actually. Quite. It says a lot that I'm hitting another one, doesn't it? It almost looks like it's cheating. I hate that terrible. Right. So basically, this is the most forgiving club I've ever seen because that was, that did not deserve to go there. You think? I think I think for me, um, I because I like hitting mm -hmm. four irons, five irons, and so on. Um, it's it's probably not my cup of tea yeah but i have to say i think it's really good club um and for a higher handicapper I, it certainly would be considered i think for anyone who does struggle with long irons then it's a absolutely yeah yeah it's not even a question is it thank you so much for your time mark thanks james appreciate that cheers everyone guys thank you so much for watching really hope you've enjoyed that that was quite an impromptu but not impromptu impromptu yet planned video indeed so apart from that guys thank you so much for watching leave us like if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.